Hi and welcome. In this new tutorial I'll teach you how to use a box layout. And when it comes to box layout we could say uh, that uh, this layout is kind of advanced flow layout. And major difference between these layouts is that you can position your components vertically when it comes to box layout. So I already created my new class BX layout and we'll start with coding. I'll create my J frame. Title will be like box layout tutorial. Also, I'm going to create a J panel. And two buttons. Button one. It will be like first and second it will be like a button let this be button first and this will be button second okay and now let's uh, generate constructor I'll set a box layout for my panel and here I'm going to pass new box layout also don't forget that box layout comes from Java Swing Java X Swing and not from Java Hot and here I'm going to pass two arguments first argument will be parent component which is panel in this case and second argument will be uh, way how we are going to align our components so i can either pass box layout line axis or x axis for horizontal alignment or page axis and uh, or y axis for uh, vertical alignment so let me pass page axis so our components will be uh, vertically aligned and let's add buttons Uh, let's add panel to frame. Let's call set default pose operation method. Uh, back method. And set visible method. Okay, that should be it. Let's run it. And here it is. As you can see, our components are vertically aligned. And also, you can notice that there is no gap between these components. Uh, also if I pass here a line axis instead of page axis my components will be horizontally aligned and also as you can see there's no gap. And uh, let's uh, create gap between these components. I'll fix it to page axis again. Okay. And to create gap between your components we'll have to say like this panel add and I'll call create a rigid area from my box class. This is a static method and I'll pass new dimension. Also let's import dimension from Travot and first argument will be for horizontal gap since our components are aligned vertically we can set that to zero and second argument will be vertical gap and that will be like five pixels let's run this and as you can see here is gap between these components also i can anchor components to bottom and to top of my frame and to do that i'll call here for example all components that comes after button first will be anchored bottom and to do that I'll have to say like this add and I'll say box and from here I'm going to call create a vertical glue method and that's only thing let's run this and let's resize this 
And as you can see, uh, components after button first are anchored to bot. Also, if uh, say here, for example, line axis, axis, and gap will be like in this case there is vertical gap, and there will be horizontal gap will be like five pixels. And here I am going to call create horizontal loop and let's run this this is in case of horizontal alignment and as you can see all components uh, added on our panel after button first will be uh, anchored to right side of our uh, J panel or J frame and that should be it for this tutorial see you next time bye